Hi students, today we'll be dealing with uh, the topic completing the square method that's used for solving quadratic equations uh, in algebra. Lesson objective, solving quadratic equations by completing the square method. Let's start with the prior knowledge that you need for the topic. Now the identities that you have to know is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. The second identity will be a minus b the whole square giving you a square minus 2ab plus b square. The terms remaining the same it's just the plus in the middle giving you all positive terms and when you have a negative be sure that the term 2ab has the negative sign so this is important so that you can identify which identity is being used from the terms given to you okay with this let's start now before I teach you how to complete a square, uh, we should see how it is being expanded and then we'll start with going back to the square. Now expand and simplify. I have the first question, x plus 4 the whole square. So since it is uh, a positive, I'll be using the identity a plus b the whole square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now comparing it with this identity, I have x plus 4 the whole square where x stands for my a and 4 stands for my b. So I'll be just using this identity which says a squared, my a is x, so x squared plus 2 times my a is x and my b is 4 plus so in place of b, I have b squared, right, 4 squared, which gives you x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now this is how you expand. Now you have a negative sign there. So I'll be using the identity a minus b, the whole square, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So to apply this identity in place of a I have x and for b it's a 2 there. Now some, uh, sometimes uh, you get confused whether I should take b equals 2 here or b should be taken as negative 2. No it's not a negative 2 you just have to take the value. Uh, since we are using this identity so the expression will be x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus 2 squared. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 4. That's the answer. So this is how you're going to apply the identity if you're planning to expand. Now our aim is to complete the square with the given data. So let's see how can that be done. Now if you ask me to give you some key steps for completing the square, I would say find b where b is like you have a plus b the whole square so i'm talking about this b or if it's an a minus b the whole square i'm talking about this now the second step would be to add b square and subtract b square to the given expression you plus b square you minus b square so that the given question or the given expression remains the same i will be showing this as i solve the problem and the last one is to group the terms based on the identity. Now whether you're going to complete the square as a plus b the whole square or is it a minus b the whole square. So you group them, you make sure all the terms are arranged to complete the square. So these are the simple steps uh, that you can follow, you can take note of. Now you have question 1 which is x squared plus 4x and you're asked to complete the square. In this case, uh, which is the missing term and which identity can be used? We are thinking about these two things for sure. Now, starting with the identity, uh, I will be using a plus b the whole square because I can see the plus sign. And it's equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. 
Now my question is I don't have a b squared term here so that's what I have to square this x squared so my a is x and the 2ab term is 4x here. So I would say 2ab is 4x which is 2 times x times b giving you a 4x. So cancelling the terms x and x so b is going to be 4 divided by 2 which is 2. Uh, this is the explanation on why or how I'm getting B as 2. In further questions, to make your calculations easier, if you have the coefficient of uh, x squared as 1, you can just straight away divide 4 by 2 to find B. You can do that. So that's a quick trick. Now step 1 is done. Let's go to step 2 where you're going to add B square and you're going to minus B square so that your expression, the question remains the same. You add and subtract so the net, the net effect is 0. So X squared plus 4X plus your B is 2. So plus 2 square minus 2 square. Now these are the terms that I require for completing my square. So X plus 2 the whole square minus 2 square. Okay, the question says complete the square for each expression. So this is level 1 questions which are pretty easier. I'll start here the coefficient of x squared is 1. So I'll be straight writing as b equals 8 divided by 2 which is 4. I have x squared so this is my step 1. My step 2 is to add and subtract. So plus b squared minus b squared so I'll write it as x squared plus 8x uh, plus 4 squared minus 4 squared. My step 3 would be to group them. I have uh, x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared which can be written as um, x plus 4 the whole square. And don't forget the minus 4 square there. So this is your final answer which you can also write as x plus 4 the whole square minus 16. So that's it. Another question here uh, you have x square minus 12x so for sure your identity is going to be a minus b the whole square. Now again here my b is going to be 12 divided by 2 which is 6. So I'll write x squared minus 12x plus 6 square minus 6 square. I have my terms here to complete my square. So it goes for x minus 6, the whole square minus 6 square, which is x minus 6, the whole square minus 36. So this is my final answer. Now why did I use a negative here? Because my 2ab, this is my 2ab term and it's, it's a negative sign before it. So it's going to be a minus b, the whole square. So that's how you do level 1 question. It's pretty easier. Now moving on to, okay, you have a question there to try. Uh, in this case, b is going to be 1 over 2. Because if you have just uh, x, that means you're going to have 1 as a coefficient. So it's going to be 1 over 2. And then you can do the same steps. We are in level 2 now. Uh, here there is a slight difference. You have plus 1 there. Uh, in level 1, if you look at the questions, you just have two terms. So here we have a plus 1 term introduced, which you don't have to bother. We are just starting with the same steps that we did. We will just ignore this one for some time, and then we'll just use it in the later part of the solving. So again, my b is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So plus and minus b, so I have x squared plus 4x plus b square which is 2 square minus b square. Don't forget to write the plus 1 so that should also be included because it's also a part of the question. Now what you have to do is you have x square plus 4x plus 2 square so it's going to be x plus 2 the whole square which is uh, from these terms that you complete the square minus you have 4 plus 1. So what is 4 plus 1? So x plus 2 the whole square minus 3. This is your final answer. In level 3 you are asked to complete uh, the square for this question. 
Now in this question, I'll take two as the common factor. I have x squared plus 8x plus 2.5. I have just divided each term by 2, so this is what I get inside the brackets. And now I know my b is going to be 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So uh, I keep my 2 outside the brackets, so I have x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared minus 4 squared plus 2.5. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by x. Mm, plus 4, x plus 4 with the whole square, minus 16 plus 2.5. So you have 2, put in brackets, x plus 4 with the whole square. It's going to be negative 16 plus 2.5, giving you 13.5. You can keep your final answer like this, or you can write 2x plus 4 the whole square minus 27. How did I get that? I just multiplied the 2 back to the terms. That's it. Now wait for part 2 of this lesson where we are going to use this technique to solve quadratic equations. Mm -hmm.